Burn the Point isn't the only classic car celebration taking place today. MTN's Marcus Kakova spent the day with the Samick family, celebrating the life of a local veteran and classic car enthusiast who was sent off in style. This is no ordinary show of 20 classic cars. We're honoring my husband who has passed on for his service and for his love of classic cars. The least I can do on a Friday was enjoy the sunshine in his memory in my hot rod. And did you know him at all? I did not. Herb Samick spent nearly four years of his 79 on earth and the United States Army as a corporal. He was happy that he had served his country. While today there's a cultural honoring of those who serve in the armed forces, during the Vietnam War, Herb, alongside the nearly 9 million other veterans, went underappreciated. He was spit on when he came home. It didn't matter that they didn't win the war. He'd done his bit, and I was very proud of him for it. But outside of life in uniform, Herb's heart was taken by two things. His wife... Well, he had a Jeep. In fact, we used to date there. That's where we got engaged. And his cars. He'd have been up and down every one of those cars talking to the guy. Oh, I know what year is it. Oh, you put that engine in it. All those wonderful questions that all car guys ask each other. And he would have been in heaven. While today marks the last ride for Herb, Candace says there's a long and winding road that remains ahead. One she's taking a single step at a time. Life has been so revolving around him. I'm not sure it's going to, it's going to be different. I'll just get up in the morning and brush my teeth, go feed the cats, and whatever the day brings. One step at a time. Yep. One step at a time. Marcus Kakova, MTN News.